Hello everyone, hope that you're doing very well and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where we are going to be taking a quick look at Bitcoin as well as an altcoin that I'm trading today, Uniswap. Uh, so that'll be a little bit of fun, a little bit of difference and uh, yeah, let's just begin with Bitcoin. And what we're on, like, it's a really, really, really random time to do the live stream. <laughs> live stream, <laughs> you can tell, man. Like, last night was a heavy one. Last night was a heavy one. I woke up today pretty hungover, I'm not going to lie. But anyway, we had, um, we had, uh, yeah, from the last time I'd done that live stream, obviously, this is a recorded video. We'd done the live stream on Friday night, and we were obviously in la 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 la, this section of the chart at that moment in time. And obviously we were discussing uh, the highly likelihood that we were going to be getting that short squeeze to continue up to the top of the range. As you know, my post was literally like, it does look like we're going to get that bit of a short squeeze to test the daily. And we basically did test that daily. Obviously, during that live stream, we were talking about the region of resistance that we had up and around that daily level. Oh, surprise, surprise. That's exactly what happened. And we come up and we tested that daily level of resistance. And, uh, you know, pretty standard stuff from here on outwards. Taking our fib from the low up to the high, we come back and we test our CC, actually hold the demand really, really, really well, making another higher low on the chart. And then you got your secondary test right after that in this move here. There you test your secondary CC. So this obviously naturally is going to be, you know, pretty much screaming at you to long the asset. No, <laughs> you'd have thought so. And you, uh, you know, you, you firstly, it's holding the higher low. Then it's getting your CC bounce into the CC bounce and you come back and you test once again that daily level of resistance. OK, if you want to just remind yourself on the live stream Friday night, we went through about, you know, five, six different levels of confluence that we had in this zone. OK, but we can see here it is another lower high, lower high, and this was another lower high. So we are definitely reaching this uh, constricting price action and we could expect a breakout. Uh, potentially, I suppose, tonight with the futures open mm, or, or tomorrow, obviously, when we get our stock markets opening again. Uh, Monday is generally, you know, Monday is generally considered a day where you're going to get more of a follow through. Let's say that, you know, if we get it, uh, if we get a move before the future CME futures opens, then obviously we are more likely to look to fade the moves. Whereas if it's happening on a weekday, a Monday and the breakout um, in either direction is strong, increases in volume, you're not really going to, well, Obviously, it, it, every context is dependent, but generally speaking, you're going to be less interested to fade the weekday move than a weekend. No, I hope that makes sense. And so, yeah, we are obviously what coming up four four p.m. So we we still got quite a few hours to go to the CME open tonight. Currently on its move back up. But the thing, the takeaway thing for me is we're obviously building up higher lows here, higher lows all the way, but simultaneously the lower highs. So this is going to break one way or the other. If we break to the upside, we obviously have that. Uh, you remember when I gave the three old daily levels and obviously that one above us was at around $51,600. And that daily level below us is still exactly, exactly the same, around $48,000. Um, so you, obviously if we start to break to the downside, it's a little bit easier to define the daily support. We've already bounced off it once. It's now, you know, it's, it's basically still support. <laughs> and uh, the level above us is that, that daily, obviously, 51335 But We do know we have that one slightly above us. We just add it on one more time. La, 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 la. that was coming in at uh, $51,613. I mean, so for me, th th this really is not that difficult per se to trade. We're given a very, um, you know, this, this is, this is the thing. This is very, I, I, I honestly can say like hand on heart, this is very easy to trade. Um, you know, the short of that daily when we approached it, like at Friday night, I, it was really funny. I was watching Chernobyl <laughs> at the time. I finished the live stream. I was like, right, I'm going, I'm going to go watch, uh, watch Chernobyl. It's a really cool TV series. And um, <laughs> I had three alerts set from 51K per plus. This, you see, this alert still wasn't here uh, of, of when I wanted to take three shorts. And I had I had the alerts go off while I was watching watching the TV series. And I was like, right, load up, buy bit, <laughs> short Bitcoin. And um, yeah, I, you know, it's such an easily defined trade. And I was pretty, pretty adamant especially if you're in the champions group, I made it very clear that, that I am going to short that level, you know? So it came up to it Friday night, CME futures closed, very easily defined plan, uh, you know, take the short. Easy, pretty easily defined trade in my opinion. We obviously made our way down. Uh, guess what is another easily defined trade? Coming back into that CC, bam. 
coming back up into your lower high, coming back up into the higher low. And now we really are breaching. We could, we could, uh, I mean, this isn't going to be amazingly uh, picture perfect sort of thing, but we could put something such as a symmetrical triangle on this node. We could do something along this sort of lines and say, hey, we, this is going to break at some point. To the upside, we know the next level's above us. If it breaks to the downside, we know the next level's below us. So I, I honestly do truly feel this is a really easy time to trade. And this is like, you know, you don't, you hardly have to be at the computer. You hardly have to be there because the trades are fairly slow in that regards. You know, you enter it Friday night. You know, the next time you're taking a trade is, is you know, 12 hours plus into the future. So it's like, yeah, for me, this is like... Uh, nice trading environment you know and for me especially on the weekends i don't really like to be trading the weekends if i can get a, you know if i can get an alert go off and uh you know when, when i call these like easily defined trades it's it's like okay i can take this trade from my phone and uh hey if i get stopped out i get stopped out but so far so good we haven't uh, we haven't lost a trade in this range and let's be honest it's not really that difficult pretty sure so i saw a really funny comment on twitter when i was talking about that cc bounce it, made, it did make me laugh yeah there we go <laughs> this is the post and where was the quite <laughs> even the, like this guy said i'll give him a like for that one it did make me laugh to be honest uh you know it's an easy trade when even i managed to win it so that, that guy obviously I'm, I'm, i guess is learning and even he managed to win that cc trade so it really wasn't that difficult was it, it really wasn't um <laughs> so yeah that's what i've had thus far now but uh yeah coming back into uh, the Uniswap trade that I wanted to talk to you about. And I am in a long on this one from a, just above $30. Okay, $30 currently in that long. And have a guess what this one was off of. Pretty easy as well. Again, I'm trading this over one, this one over on Bybit. I kind of like Bybit at the moment. You know, they're doing quite a lot of new features. They have quite a selection of altcoins, to be fair. And I noticed Uniswap was one that I was kind of interested in. It's been pumping quite heavily recently. And... um I don't like to buy it when it's really, you know, really high, but we come back into three levels of confluence all at around $30. And for me, that was boom, enough to get involved. Obviously from, um, you know, from that CC, it's currently up about 12%. Pretty nice. Uh, like I was talking you through on, on Friday's live, you can tell I'm, <laughs> I need to have, I need to eat. I need to eat. Uh, what was I going to say? Yeah, well, on Friday's live stream, I was talking you through the why, like why I was getting involved in these altcoins. Obviously, I was in at the time Litecoin, XRP. Um, you know, I was in a few different altcoins, and I was wanting to see Bitcoin to test that daily because it then gave like the easiest way to manage the alts. Because on the altcoins, you could have hit the take profit one. Like that's really, 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 really why I wanted to do it. So you can get that take profit one hit, and then like have the advantage of not having to place like these hard stop losses and just let it run with a little bit more freedom. So you know it was just so perfect for the altcoins and for bitcoin that we got that test of the daily on friday night yeah and then from there obviously we all know what happened drop down test the cc as, as many of the altcoins have come down and like testing around the cc holding it as support very nicely again easily defined long positions happy days uh you know crazy crazy nice gains across the board bitcoin and altcoins alike um yeah, I think that is about it. Um, obviously, da -da 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 -da. yeah, that's what I wanted to men uh, mention. Obviously, if you want to uh, take advantage of the $1,100 bonus, which is going on at Bybit right now, I think they're doing this for a few reasons. They want to promote the sub account features that's just released, which is pretty cool now. And I think they just want to promote that they have the biggest selection of altcoins available. So, hey, they are pretty kindly giving away quite a bit of money uh for deposits on their on their website so yeah if you want to take advantage of that we can leave this i just guess you can check it over on discord probably the easiest place and i think that was about it um yeah we have that live stream tonight which is the 25th was it 25th <laughs> i'm gonna to need to go eat and like wake myself up before i start the live stream for the members <laughs> that's when i don't know i just woke up and i was like Ah oh, man, let's just let's just let's just talk some technical analysis. Let's just let's just talk cryptocurrency. Like, <laughs> why not? Um, so yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, just talk you through really what my perception per perception is on this Bitcoin chart. We are basically forming a symmetrical triangle almost. We know the levels to the upside. Should we break to the upside of the triangle? We know the levels to the downside. Should we break to the downside? What we are gifted at the moment truly is a gift of a very easily defined, easily tradable range uh, where we have people that are at the very base of their learning career, um, trading career, however you want to call it. And even they're managing to make money on it. So, hey, 
well done to them well done to you and well done for everybody crushing these charts you know keeping you know even the thing is you see this loss of not even one percent and that is the that's the good thing you keep your losses small and you keep your winners big um surprise surprise doltex once again with the master entries anyway that, that's it for this video um yeah bitcoin range um uni swap i well i'm for me i've hit my take profit one on this and i do think you're coming i think you have the potential of a gartley harmonic on this so you know for, for, for 35 36 dollars pretty key level to reclaim but if we can actually start to reclaim let's say 37 dollars I think we're going to be looking back up to that $41 on, on Uniswap myself. Uh, the way I'm managing this is take profit one, and I don't really want to see us lose $32. If we do, then probably going to cut the position. Um, again, this is fairly linked to Bitcoin, as we all know, when we're looking at trading, you know, I'm trading uh, Litecoin against uh, Tether, you know, XRP against USD, obviously Uniswap here against Tether, and, uh, you know, these are correlated somewhat to Bitcoin, yeah? So important to remember that. Anyway, I'm, I'm, i think i'm gonna go what should i have i'm gonna have like oh actually i'm, I'm having like really nice like homemade chicken burgers tonight yeah really 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 nice chicken burgers we got some uh halloumi uh cheese like grilled oh man like ah oh, this is gonna be mouth-watering and i'm gonna have that i'm gonna uh i'm gonna wake myself up maybe go for a quick quick swim and uh be be ready for the champions live stream tonight where of course i will delete all my technical analysis load it up from scratch and make a plan that plan will be to win and i'll maybe catch you tonight if you remember if you're not a member then hey i'll catch you in the next public video that i do i hope that you've had a brilliant weekend i most certainly have uh having fun seeing friends making money trading uh isn't that the best like yeah, i think that's pretty cool eh? that you can be making money seven days a week and for the last two days, literally putting in the minimal effort in terms of requirement on the Bitcoin chart. That was such an easy short off the day and such an easy long off the CC. Well, the CC to the, and when it's done that secondary CC, is like just screaming at you like to long it. Like, yeah, I don't know. Like, yeah, hope you've enjoyed the video. I'm going to wrap it up because otherwise I just ramble on for another 20 minutes. So thank you ever so much. Have a brilliant day. Catch you tonight, maybe. And um, yeah. Everything else is over in the Discord, I suppose. So have a brilliant day. Thank you. Oh, no. No financial advice. If you if you wanted to take a financial advice from a guy that's pretty hungover right now, then... <laughs> yeah, there's the disclaimer. Read it. Have a good day and goodbye.